Well, welcome back, family. This is Sharon coming at you with my co-host. Jamal, we back at it again. I can't get no rest around here. Well, we got another female mayor. This time she's in New Orleans, Louisiana. And she's doing the same thing Tiffany Henry is doing and expecting the same privileges. And Monique Owens and all the other ones. Taking the using taxpayers' money for trips, hiring her boyfriend, and sleeping with him in the in the city uh, own apartment, and paying him more money than he's worth. I mean, what what is the matter? I um, got this video from Pink Book Lessons. Like, comment, subscribe, and go ahead and check her channel out as well. Why does the matter? You got these emotionally unstable, incompetent, hot in the bloomer black women hiring their boyfriends, sleeping with them. I mean, and taking money to go first class because she got to be protected. She live in first class, the glamorous life. <laughs> then she refusing to pay back the money. I mean, what is wrong with? Didn't I tell you that you shouldn't be hiring these women for these public uh, positions? Didn't I say that? That's the ones they don't know how to act, right? You have these incompetent, hot in the pants women like old Fanny. I mean, and old Tiffany Henner. I mean, what? What's the matter? All right, let's get into the video. Morrell is refusing to pay the city roughly $29,000 she charged this year to upgrade her city air travel to business in first class. All expenses incurred doing business on behalf of the city of New Orleans will not be reimbursed to the city of New Orleans. That was the mayor of New Orleans over a year ago, unapologetic in her stance on not reimbursing the city for air travel upgrades. All expenses incurred doing business on behalf of the city of New Orleans will not be reimbursed to the city of New Orleans. One thing is clear, I do my job. Well, if you did your job, you'll pay for the old upgrades yourself. Well, she thought she was entitled. Well, right. She's entitled because she got to be protected. But no, her security is in... Coach. Uh, in coach, and she's in first class. So how's she being protected? That's a good question. And who who in the world knows her anyway? Nobody knows her. And why are you flying to other countries when you need to be helping your city out? She <clears throat> she taking trips to Africa to talk about plastic bottles. <laughs> I mean, how is that helping the crime rate in New Orleans? It's not. How is that offering jobs and security to people? Uh, don't look like you're doing your job to me. You're going to Africa to talk about plastic <laughs> bottles. Really? And you're using taxpayers' money to go talk about that when when you need to be talking about the issues in your city? I'll, I'll play some more. A lot has changed since then. A month after she refused to pay the money back in 2022, the mayor had a change in tune and said that she would reimburse the money. Before the end of that month, a couple of weeks after she said she would return the money, the mayor fully reimbursed the city what she owed, the amount just under $29,000 for those first and business class flight upgrades. She thought the situation was behind her, but now the Louisiana Board of Ethics has filed charges against New Orleans Mayor Latoya Cantrell for allegedly violating state ethics laws related to those flight upgrades in 2022. Take a second to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. If you're watching from the New Orleans Metro, drop NOLA below in the comments. The mayor of New Orleans has been at the center of a lot of political controversy ever since she was elected as the city's first female mayor. 51-year-old Latoya Cantrell, originally from Los Angeles, has served as mayor since 2018 the city re-elected her after her first term. She is currently serving her second term. Now, when it comes to Mayor Cantrell, like anybody else, I'm pretty fair. When she's right, I'll say she's right. But when she's wrong, I have to also call a spade a spade. What's your favorite part of that 690? I like the fact that we get you in there. I, I don't know what we were done without that back row. 
one of her supporters on the payroll got so upset and had the nerve to defend her behavior, which really did surprise me. Funny though, when I agreed with her, they had nothing to say. All I gotta say is if any of her simple forces contact me again, we're gonna have a field day over here. So all you Aaliyah Juniors over there, just keep your four page letters to yourself. I don't wanna hear it, sir. And I'm not gonna waste my time reading your Barney babble, but the mayor is back in the news after these new charges from the state ethics board. When it first happened, coincidentally, the mayor wasn't able to address it right away. She ran out of the city, well, the country. Look at that, ran like a little cat. <laughs> ran out of the city. Well, she, she <laughs> knows she was wrong. And, and the, the, the thing is, you know, there's another video uh, that I was thinking about where they show expose her hiring her boyfriend. It's the same video. And uh, he's married. Now his wife is divorcing her, and, uh, divorcing him. And then allegedly her husband seriously passed away. Yeah, her husband, he wasn't sick, nothing. Mm -hmm. He just mysteriously died. You no, know, she was married, and her her uh, police officer boyfriend was married, and they were sleeping together in the city's hotel apartment. In the city-owned uh, apartment. They would they spent hours up there in those apartments. And um when she should have been in the office working, but her yeah. husband mysteriously died. But she'll get her back blown in. Hey. <laughs> it is what it is. Hey. <laughs> she was on fire. She needed to be put out. She needed a hole to put out. Well, she found one all right. <laughs> and she's paying the boyfriend more money than he's worth. So there's another woman taking taxpayers' money and giving it to these men. Yep. I mean, why women feel like they in this position feel like they have to hire uh, a boyfriend? They have mm -hmm. to pay for a boyfriend. Let's play some more. Mm. To a conference in Kenya where she was speaking on climate change and pollution. Trail travels to Nairobi, Kenya today. Her office says she will speak at a United Nations event on Sunday mm. focused on stopping plastic pollution. Right. Says her speaking engagement will be at a session on cities leading the way in reducing the negative impact of plastics. The mayor isn't scheduled to return to New Orleans until next Wednesday. Mm. When I heard the mayor was going over to the continent to talk about pollution, I was just thinking here she is once again using the city's dime to handle what she calls city business. And this isn't the first time. In 2019, she spent thousands of dollars for her and her handlers to go to Ghana for an essence event. If you all remember, 2019 mm. was promoted as the year of return by Ghana. It was a campaign to encourage Black Americans FBA to reconnect with the land. Mayor Kentrell received a lot of backlash again in 2022, mm. just a couple of years later, when she traveled all through Europe. Switzerland, France. Oh, what you doing? How did that go help? Yeah, how's that help her city? I mean, her 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 city has the highest crime rate in Louisiana. That's true. And she's out talking about plastic bottles and she's going to an Essen event and wanting black people to come back to Ghana. I mean, and then she's traveling around Europe. I mean, how is that helping New Orleans? Sound like she's been going on vacation to me. And using the taxpayer's money for first class. How is that? The, the people, did she bring anything back that, for the city? To help the city? No, she ain't bringing nothing back. She probably sleep on her boyfriend on that a mango kitty. <laughs> well, you know, you know, she said she had to have security. So, you know, I, I guess he went with her. I mean, you know, all these hot-in-the-pants women. See, I tell you, women was not... God did not design women to be in positions like that. I mean, this, I, I don't care what nobody says, and a lot of women are going to get mad at me, but, you know, this is a man's world. And and uh, a woman is not fully equipped to handle these positions. They bring chaos and confusion everywhere they go in these in these positions. Well, that's true. So you know, they they want they want design for that. The women are just emotionally unstable creatures, and they they don't they don't need to be in offices like that. That's why they always run to finding the man 
the the screwing the men. I mean, uh, Fanny had to go get her boyfriend to help her out in office. Mm -hmm. Tiffany had to go get her married boyfriend to help her out in office. Mm -hmm. And now Latoya had to go get her married boyfriend to help her out in office. Mm -hmm. I mean, why don't they just give the the, uh, the job to the men? Might as well. Are you paying all this money for sex? Yeah. I mean, she makes $185,000 a year. Why couldn't she pay for her own upgrades? That's very true. $185,000 a year? Let's play some more. Italy, and she said it was all city business. Yeah, okay. There's been a lot of complaints and criticism for, you know, is now the right time to leave the country when there's so much going on in the city? What would you say to that? After losing my job during the pandemic, I have been stuck in an endless loop of financial stress. That um, there's always uh, the right time to conduct the city's business and especially uh, expand uh, our cultural footprint that drives the local economy and yeah. making sure that we're making those connections She's that only crap. embrace our cultural bearers. She's Although the mayor insisted mm -hmm. she was handling business for the city of New Orleans, the citizens were not happy about having to pay for her lavish vacations while they were all back home looking for her to provide solutions to local problems from the economy to crime. It's a shame that our mayor, she take lavish vacation on the tax bill money in foreign countries while people are dying in the city of crime. They want answers now. Mm. We, we need the long-term effort on crime fighting, but we need some proactive things to happen right now. Latoya not telling the truth. Soon after, there was a debate about the first-class flights. Mayor Cantrell was accused of taking flights, upgrading them to business or first class, and not paying for it. City policy requires all employees to take the basic fare for the flight. Well, check this out. Oh, Tiffany said she's not an employee of the city. Latoya said. Latoya. Latoya said she wasn't an employee of the city, but she's the mayor. So what is she an employee of? I don't know. She worked for the people. She worked for the city. So that means, you know, I, I might not be the brightest crayon in the box, but that sounds to me like she's a city employee. She out here dragging that mango kitty around. Why Why her kitty got to be mango? Because <laughs> it is. Wow. I mean, it, does that have spell incompetence? Or maybe she was just a, a shyster, a con woman. Right. Do it. Sad, willing to say and do anything to get what you want and try to get out of it. I mean, how are you flying around in Europe helping the economy in New Orleans? Who knows? Kind of like taking money out of the city to pay for your trips. So, if you're taking money out of the city to pay for your trip, how is that helping New Orleans? It's not. I'll play some more. However, they are able to upgrade. If they make that choice to upgrade, though, they must pay for their own upgrade. And if they don't pay it on the spot, the city of New Orleans requires them to reimburse the money within 20 business days. Mayor Cantrell racked up nearly $29,000 mm. in upgrades. Here's just two recent examples. In March, the mayor spent more than $2,800 to fly first class to Miami for a U.S. Conference of Mayors gathering. That's about nine times the $342 police superintendent Sean Ferguson paid to fly economy to the same meeting. Other staffers paid $677. And in January, the mayor spent more than $2,300 to fly first class to a Conference of Mayors meeting in D.C. The rest of her entourage paid $250. Mm. The mayor has now racked up more than $29,000 in extra airfare. When first confronted about the charges, the mayor gave her usual arrogant, defiant, sassy attitude and argued that she was standing on business. <laughs> All expenses incurred doing business on behalf of the city of New Orleans will not be reimbursed to the city of New Orleans. Mayor mm. Cantrell believed the rule was for employees and she didn't consider herself to be a city employee because really? she was the mayor. Like, okay. ma'am, if you don't work for the city, who do you exactly work for? Thank you. I'll wait. <laughs> the mayor is employed by the city of New Orleans, so that will make her an employee. 
Yeah, at first, she was saying she was not an employee and she wasn't paying nothing back. But a hmm. month later, the mayor had a change of heart or somebody around her told her she better stop playing. She was told by other city officials if she didn't pay that money back, they would dock her pay. Hmm. They said, we're getting that money back one way or another. But she it's said, coming. She said, he can't take her liquor money. Her liquor money. <laughs> yeah. She had to take her handy money. Oh, you come to you, you just coming up with all kinds of stuff about your little uh, warp mind, but uh, she not so she. I don't know. I I, I can't I can't understand or uh, who she's an employee of. I guess herself. I mean, who's writing those checks for her? The city. So if the city's writing those checks, then you work for the city. I, g I guess she thinks she's a contractor. She's above the law. Yeah. That's what she seemed to think. She said, I gotta have my look at my boyfriend. Back to the people of New Orleans. As it relates to the uh, thorough review of our policy by the CAO and the law department and keeping it much on that policy, not uh, embedding anything relative to the emergency declaration, I am, in fact, uh, deemed an employee of the city of New Orleans. <laughs> and as an employee of the city of New Orleans, Mayor Latoya Cantrell announced Tuesday she will have to follow city policy, which means her flight upgrades will have to come out of her own pocket. Documents show the mayor has spent about $30,000 in first and business class tickets this year on behalf of the city. She previously argued the upgraded flights were for her safety and she had no intention of paying the city back. All expenses incurred doing business on behalf of the city of New Orleans will not be reimbursed to the city. Oh, bulldog. Thought she didn't have to pay back that much. So she finally realized she's, she is a city employee. Yeah. It, it took the it took the county attorney and the C what she said the uh, CFO Chief Financial Officer to, to convince her that she is uh, a city employee. Oh bulldog Latoya. Wow. <laughs> she thought she can do what she want. Wow. Mm -hmm. I mean I, I guess she's taking lessons from Tiffany Henner. She failed that class. Well, I guess if we're gonna Tiffany get away with it. Why can't she do it? Who knows? Let's play some more. City of New Orleans. One thing is clear. I do my job. But Friday, I stand on, I stand on business. I stand on business. What job she doing? <laughs> Screwing her married boyfriend, okay. taking the vacation? Get that back crack. That's her job. <laughs> City's chief administrative officer Gilbert Montano said Cantrell would have to pay the expenses back after a city attorney issued an opinion that the mayor is a city employee and has to follow the city's policy, which states employees are required to purchase the lowest airfare or pay for the upgrades themselves. It turns out that that is applicable to her, and in all candor, I have to fulfill my duties as, as the CAO and ensure that those uh, rules and responsibilities are effectuated to everybody. City Council President Helena Moreno previously threatened to cut the mayor's salary next year if she didn't pay the money back. She was in violation of, of the policy, so I'm glad that she'll be uh, repaying the city and that we can work to put this behind us. It is very clear that business was done on behalf of the city of New Orleans. However, I will have to re reimburse the city for those business expenses, and so I'm moving forward to do that. The good news is, as I've said, work done on behalf of the city of New Orleans. There was no work This done. week only, large two-topping pizzas at Domino's are just $6.99 each when you carry out. Like melty pepperoni and green peppers. Or ham and tangy pineapple. The combinations are pretty endless. Act fast and get your favorite large two-topping pizza for just $6.99 each this week only at Domino's. So I can take all these trips because Priceline has all these amazing deals. And that's when I said, deal! Right on your right is our infinity deal pool. I am the deals. The deals are me. Then there was a cheating scandal in early 2023. An affair between Mayor Cantrell and NOPD officer Jeffrey Vapey. As I mentioned in my previous coverage here, Officer Vapey appeared on a New Orleans episode of AE's First 48 in 2014. Hmm. Both city employees, the mayor and the officer, were exposed 
in early 2023. Mm. This is after they were caught months earlier going in and out of a city-owned apartment accessed by the mayor where they spent hours on at least 10 dates in August and September 2022. The officer was a part of the mayor's detail. He was being investigated for the affair which violated city policy as well as payroll fraud because he was clocking in a bunch of hours with the mayor. Mm. During this investigation, he was pulled off the mayor's security detail. The officer was being investigated for the affair, and months later, when the affair was exposed on the news, both of their spouses were heartbroken and humiliated. Well, I guess she had some pent-up frustration, did she? Wow. He took hours and hours getting that out. Hey. <laughs> hey. But, well, you know, they, they said that when she was uh, a city councilwoman, she did some strange things with the credit card. The strange things with pocket change. And then they had the nerve to uh, vote her in as mayor. Make it makes sense, people. After she didn't got caught uh, stealing or using the uh, the city credit card when, as a city councilwoman, then they had the nerve to vote her back in again as a mayor. What in the world? I mean, that's the same thing with with Tiffany Henner. She got in trouble before. Then they re they vote her back in. I mean, what is wrong with people? They, they keep doing these crazy things, expecting different results. They they delusional. I'll play some more. Mayor Cantrell married to her husband, and Officer Vapey married to his wife. Why does it always seem the men get the go after the ugly women? I mean, his wife look better than her. Because she's in power and she's giving them money. That's why he's going after her. He's going after Bulldog Latoya. He's going after wherever he can get some money from. And he getting booty and money from her. He, all he, he, getting, some he ain't getting that from his wife. The only thing he get is a cage of, you know. But oh, 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 uh, Latoya, she, she paying him. No, that's true. I'll play some more. Officer Vapey's wife filed for divorce and listed his affair with the mayor in the documents. It was a pretty big deal, but you had a lot of the mayor's super fans coming out to put their capes on for. Mm. It was crazy because, you know, normally women love harping on salacious cheating scandals, but this time they weren't interested in the mayor cheating. Wonder why? All of a sudden, the same group of people no longer cared about cheating, at least in this case. Not only was it wrong for them to step out on their spouses and embarrass them, but it was also against city policy. Mayor Control mm. was not supposed to be getting it in with a subordinate. That's against the rules. And Officer Vapey wasn't supposed to be involved with another city employee that he was working with. Both of them obviously in violation. On top of that, you had the payroll fraud. Fast forward six months to the summer of 2023. By that time, <laughs> NOPD claimed they had completed their investigation and quietly reinstated the officer mm. back to the mayor's security team wow. during the summer of 2023. It's like he just tiptoed back in there like he never left. They totally ignored the payroll fraud and failed to hold him accountable. Life just went on for the citizens as well mm. because they didn't care that the mayor had her boyfriend back and they seem to continue to embrace the mayor. Then mysteriously, by the end of that summer, in August 2023, the news quietly traveled around the city that the mayor's longtime husband, Jason Kentrell, had died. Mm. It happened out of nowhere, very sudden. Attorney Kentrell wasn't sick. It was really eerie that everybody was quiet about it. No one had any questions. And although a lot of odd events played out in public, there was no investigation. Remember that apartment, the one that the mayor was using to cheat on her husband? Mayor Kentrell had been using the city-owned French Quarter apartment that overlooked Jackson Square as an Airbnb for out-of-town relatives. Mm. This, by the way, wow. violated the state constitution. That apartment that she was getting on in, cheating on her husband in, belongs to the people of the city. It is not to be used for personal business. It's supposed to be used for official business. However, through emails... It was discovered that on several occasions, the mayor had family members there. On one occasion, she allowed her husband's aunt and uncle from Texas to stay there at the apartment during Essence Festival weekend. And after the mm. couple left, 
her husband's aunt submitted a $100 donation to the mayor's campaign. Wow. The fair market rental rate for the apartment is $2,900. Mm. And side note, that's cold. She had her husband's auntie and uncle sleeping in the same bed that she was cheating on her husband in. I mean, all of this was disgusting and everybody just took up for her. Well, when the cheating scandal came out and everything was revealed in 2023, the mayor was basically banned from the union. Wow. So, Breaking news. All struggling Americans call and claim the 6,300. So she's no longer able to use it. Mm. And now after staying out of headlines for a couple of months, Mayor Kentrell is back in the news again. Although she reimbursed the city for those travel upgrades a year ago, the state ethics board is still addressing the issue. In a year after Fox 8 first reported on the mayor spending close to $29,000 in first class air travel in violation of city policy, the state ethics board files charges against Mayor Cantrell. As Rob Messon reports, those charges could lead to thousands of dollars in fines. In its report, the state ethics board points out that Mayor Latoya Cantrell flew first class 15 times in 2021 and 2022 and charged nearly $30,000 to the city of New Orleans in violation of the city's travel policy. It's not surprising that uh, there was a violation and that they finally found it. It is surprising to me that the ethics board took action because this particular ethics board, it actually takes a lot to move them to action. The ethics board found that the mayor flew first class on 13 domestic flights and two international trips. And at the time the mayor insisted she would not pay the money back. And I do travel business class, absolutely. I need to be protected, I need to be safe as I do business on behalf of the city of New Orleans. October 28th of last Safe. year, nearly three months after we first reported on her first class travel expenses, the mayor changed course and reimbursed the city nearly $29,000. I think that the mayor would probably admit that there were mistakes made and as a council person, no mistakes. Wait, 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 as a look, citizen. Stop for a minute. There were no mistakes made. She intentionally did that. I thought she was going to get away with it. She intended that that wasn't a mistake. She mm -hmm. she knew what she knew the rules. She thought she's gonna slide on the radar. If she well, could fly first class, why could why didn't she take other staff let them fly first class too? That's a good question. She knew that. Mm. But you know, what what can you say? What else is there to say about this? I don't know, let's play some more. I just why? want us to be consistent. Mm -hmm especially as elected officials in addressing the laws and following the laws. We reached out to the mayor's office for comment on the ethics board violations, but we've been told she's out of the country in Kenya for a United... Now she's in Kenya. Well, she, mean, she's traveling all over the place. Well, she's traveling on the taxpayer dime, why not? Uh -huh. How else she gonna get to Africa? And you would fly around Europe and do all these so. uh, uh, lavish vacations. Mm -hmm. She got to do them the taxpayers' money because mm -hmm. she don't want to spend hers. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's obvious they, they weren't poor because her husband was an attorney. Yeah. Well, there's not much more we can no. really say on this. No, mm -hmm. it ain't nothing. What, what else can you say? What, make sure, make sure you like, share, comment, yeah. and subscribe. Why, why, beat, why beat this dead horse? <laughs> these, these women in this office is at... And, and it's, I'm, I'm sure that women are... The white women or Hispanic, other uh, ethnic groups that are doing the same thing, but they gonna make sure they call out this black chicks that doing all these things, so we can all look bad. And when will we realize what we do is a, a reflection on the whole group, the whole community? It's not just you. It that it is it, it, casting a shadow upon the all black Americans as being incompetent. That's true. Well, until next time. Your favorite saying? No. He can't really, say it. He can't no, say it on really, No, it don't apply here. <laughs> well, stop what? being stupid. Stop doing illegal criminal activities and stop buying men. Get, you had a husband. Why do you have to go buy a man? Stop that mess. Man, we out.